Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. I appreciate all the love and support from all of you lovely people and I hope I find you all doing very well, having an awesome day and feeling fantastic as well. We have more My Player action coming your way today in the form of four matches. We take on LASK first in the Bundesliga before we have Bayern Munich at home in the Champions League then Hartberg away, finishing the episode with Austria-Vienna in the league. Last episode, we did have our first taste of Champions League football as we faced Club Bruges and beat them by two goals to one. Along with that, we took on Germany in an international friendly for England, a 2 all draw and two wins in the league, winning 5-0 and 3-0. And with those league victories, it means we are top of the Austrian Bundesliga by five points over Rapid Vienna. LASK up first. A thousand likes on this episode would be amazing. Thank you for your continued support. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode, my friends. There's a return to the starting 11 for Piatkowski, who's returned from his injury. Sada Azmoun in the previous episode was scoring goals for fun. Let's see if he can keep that going in today's video. With Bayern to follow this game, we want to make sure we're going into that Champions League fixture off the back of a victory here, and you would expect us to win this one. No disrespect to LASK as Asmu's already in and he's at the post. As I say, no disrespect to our opponents, but the way that Salzburg have been playing recently in the league, we've scored goals for fun, we've kept clean sheets, and after just five minutes here, we were nearly in front through the in-form Sardar Asmoon. Piatkowski into the feet of Bidstrup. And now Bebu, Bebu, Boucher. Now Capaldo, Bebu ahead of him. It's nicely worked and Bebu will smash the ball into the back of the net and Salzburg take the lead. They had a warning sign early on here, LASK. When Asmoon hit the post, they did not heed it and Bebu punishes them. And from the way this game has started, this could be a very long afternoon for the visitors. Salzburg, there is definitely more opportunity in this game for us to grab a whole lot more in the way of goals. Boucher, now Bebu. Bebu down the left-hand side is Koza. Bebu's found him. Koza goes back inside to Bebu. Bebu again, now then, into the feet of Capaldo. To Asmoon! And there's the second for Salzburg. Up until this point, LASK had done well to steady the ship because they were preventing Salzburg from adding to the score following Bebu's opener. But Asmoon has just done so. Pintar's made his way into the penalty area for LASK. That's a great ball as well. Back post. And it had to be a goal. And it is. LASK's first shot is in. And you know what? Schlager actually has no right to even really get a touch on it. But he does. And considering that he gets a huge touch on it, in fact, I think he should do better. 17 minutes remain. Here is Koza. Now Boucher. Boucher will go for it and Boucher will score. It is a thunderbolt from the Salzburg midfielder and he restores our two goal advantage. I don't quite know just where he's pulled this shot from but what a strike it is. As he picks up the ball, I actually made a run directly through here and I was thinking maybe ask for the pass but no. He had no thoughts about passing that ball. Immediately finishes with the right boots. Any moment now, that will be the end of this one and Salzburg... Don't get a clean sheet, but do win the game by three goals to one. And in the end, we'll take those three points because it sets us up nicely for the visit of Bayern Munich. Last season, we were playing football in League One. Now, we welcome Bayern Munich to our place in the Champions League. Incredible to think about. Can we beat them here tonight, though? Let's find out. There's a certain level of optimism around this place tonight here in Austria as we sense an opportunity to take down one of Europe's giants. But to do that, we are going to have to be at our best. And after just three minutes, Schlager is forced into an early save. And from this Bayern corner, we'll have to be alert. Issy, they went short. Kimmich, now Kane. Kane on the turn, gets his shot away. Piatkowski got a vital touch to it, though. Another Bayern corner. Not what you want to see after five minutes. Them are piling the pressure on us, but let's see if we can defend and clear this one away. Not quite just yet. Is he to Mendes, to Musiala. Shot was blocked. Piatkowski, now Bebu. 
Chance for Salzburg to look for an attack of their own. And if we're being realistic, I'm not expecting us to have too many chances tonight, but just one. And that could put us into a great position. Capaldo here. As now then, we get the chance to turn and get into the area of Bayern Munich. And this place goes mental. Salzburg leads. And it's us who've got the goal. Bayern nil, Salzburg won in Austria. And I'm talking about the fact we won't get many chances. Just one is all we need. Fired back across goal into the far corner and the home side lead. But the start that Bayern have made, the question will be for how long will this lead last? It's our first Champions League goal as a player and what a time to get it. Taken on Bayern Munich to put our team ahead by a goal to nil. Oh, that felt good to score our first Champions League goal. I'm sure there'll be many more to come, but it'll feel even better if... We can hold on and end up winning this game against Bayern as Harry Kane, edge of the penalty area. Fiore wins it back. Here is Hume. Now into the feet of Capaldo. That's a brilliant touch. What a touch by Capaldo. He's down the right-hand side here. Goes back towards Hume. Keeps on the ball for the moment. Hume now then looks to go and take the touch forwards. King will get to this loose ball, but Bayern put under pressure and that will be the half-time whistle. After their brilliant start they made to the game, they've been frustrated by Salzburg. And our goal at the moment is what separates the two sides. Capaldo finds my feet. I've seen Bebu to my right. Here he is. Now Capaldo once more. We give him the furthest run forwards. Capaldo sends that into my feet. And a touch to take it away from Nuno Mendes. Back into the middle for Asador Asmoon. And it's Salzburg 2, Bayern 0. Apologies as well if you hear the fireworks outside. There's a lot of them going on right now. And I've tried to make sure that I haven't included them in the video. And, well, it's happened right as we've scored. So, yeah, if you did hear that, I apologise. But what a ball back in. And Sadir Azmoun here. One touch, the second one, as he smashes it into the roof of the goal at Castile's near post. And Salzburg are in dreamland in match day two of the Champions League. What a result this would be. Harry Kane, pass through to Molina is on. What's happened to Salzburg's defence here? Molina! Delayed the shot, Kane will not, and Kane will smash the ball in. That's the difference between Harry Kane, a natural goal scorer, and Molina, who you might say isn't a natural goal scorer, still definitely capable of finishing the moves, but because his sort of delaying of the shot, that allowed us to get back goal side, make the block, but the ball falls kindly to Harry Kane, who does what Harry Kane does. And the lead is halved for Salzburg. Boucher, Bebu, Asmoon to his right. Here is Asmoon. Asmoon goes to myself. One more towards Capaldo. He's in the area of Bayern. And Capaldo gets back the two-goal advantage we had. The skipper on the night has done the business as he celebrates in front of the Salzburg fans. This has been a really good performance from Salzburg. We've had a couple of moments where we've looked really good in the attack. But what I'm really impressed with it's been our overall defensive play. We've kept Bayern to very little tonight. And that's not an easy thing to do. And that, my friends, is full time. Salzburg 3, Bayern 1. The full time score here as you see the celebrations going on inside the ground. It's what we came here to Salzburg to do. To have an impact on a stage as big as the Champions League. And tonight, we have done that. The other game in the group between Inter Milan and Club Bruges went the way of Inter Milan. A 4-1 victory for them, which means Bayern sit on zero points with Club Bruges and it's us and Inter leading the way on six points after two games. Of course, Inter are who we face next. Couple more international friendlies with England that we've been called up for on the 17th of October and the 21st of October. And they will sit, I imagine, between league matches. So, Hartberg, then Ukraine and Ireland, Austria-Vienna. So we might not get into the game against Austria-Vienna today, but we'll see. We return to league action as we face Hartberg away. Here is Hume. We've made the forward run and Hume will continue down the right-hand side here. He's got options. One of those is to play the ball back to Capaldo. Defender went sliding in. Advantage played. Bidstrup will now find my feet as we manage to open up the space. Well, the shot with the left foot, though, whizzes past the post. And after beating Bayern 3-1 in the previous game, then 
It almost feels like a formality that Salzburg should win this game here. As we've done well to get into the area. Pulling it back towards Bebu. Controls and finishes. And there is the goal for Salzburg. As I say, formality. You'd expect us to win this following the game against Bayern. But it doesn't always work like that. Hume's ball down the right-hand side. We are there. Now Asmoon to my left. Here is Sardar Asmoon. Into an advanced position. Pulls the ball back my way. Through to Bebu. Bebu for a second. Big save. Providence. Now Contreras. As this is an opportunity for them to come forward. But Hume recovers well for Salzburg. Now plays that ball forward towards myself. As we've got Asmoon to our left again. Saw this similar situation when we created the previous chance for Bebu. As we turn back inside, are allowed to run into a central position. Now find Bebu again. Bebu, Asmoon, combine well. Now Boucher. Boucher, lovely little ball through. And we've got to finish that. It seemed like time stopped there. We had so much of it. It looks simple for Salzburg, in all honesty. And we are not letting up because we're looking for goal number three. Good defending in the end there, though. And the press comes straight back in from Salzburg with Boucher winning it. Now Bebu slides the ball into my path. Into the area we go. Back for Asmoon. Asmoon, one more to Bebu, maybe. No, goes for the shot. Asmoon now fights Capaldo. There is the third. This is getting... Well, I was going to say embarrassing for Hartberg. But at the same time, this isn't like this is an unexpected result. Especially after the confidence we have beating Bayern in the Champions League. But if they're not careful, Hartberg are going to end up with a scoreline that is not good to look at. 3-0, half-time looming. Oh, Boucher has picked the pocket of the defender here and now Asmoon to Boucher! It's four! Maybe embarrassing is a bit of a, you know, harsh term to use. Maybe I should have said confidence destroying. But at 55 minutes, Salzburg have a fourth. Boucher, who started it by picking the pocket of the defender, stealing back possession, finishes the move after Asmoon just lays it back to him. And Hartberg looked beaten. Capaldo to Asmoon, to Bebu. Bebu turns, finds Boucher. Boucher can go one more to Terzic. Terzic finds me! And somehow it's not five. Emmen with a brilliant left-handed stop. And... I've got to say, the urgency for Salzburg to win this back as soon as we lose it. So difficult to play against as we now have it on the edge of their penalty area. Still a lot of players back behind the ball. We'll play Boucher again here. Right-hand side, Boucher, Hume to Sahi Dion. Sahi Dion into my feet. The turn is brilliant. Oh, I should have scored. How have I not hit the target there? Well, on another day, I might have had a hat trick with the chances I've passed up in this one. Finishing boots lacking. And you can see the frustration from myself there. Final five minutes of the game. Sahi Dion is ahead of me here, making his run. That's a poor ball. So I've got to redeem myself by winning it back. Pressure put on straight away, and we do win it back. It's too easy. If you're Salzburg, it's way too easy. And Hartberg causing themselves all sorts of problems. It's five. Bebu is found, and he just side foots the ball home. One more minute to play, plus injury time. And Hartberg will be wishing for the full-time whistle. Bebu gets himself a brace here. And Salzburg have done the job emphatically away from home. But, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Hartberg are down the bottom of the Austrian Bundesliga table from what we've seen of them today. Again, here comes Salzburg with that press. Is there a chance for one more opportunity in the game? There is not. But it's full time. An emphatic 5-0 victory. Commanding performance from start to finish from Salzburg, who just did not let Hartberg breathe. And they go, hopefully, even more points ahead at the top of the Bundesliga table. Couple of international friendlies now with England against Ukraine and Ireland. I plan on playing both of these and we'll see where we are at after these two matches have been played. So let's see what happens as we take on Ukraine at Wembley. And the last time we played for England, Ollie Watkins scored a double and was brilliant against Germany in that 2-2 draw. As we get to play in midfield alongside Rice and Bellingham. We've not played alongside them yet, so this should be fun. Rashford, now Bellingham. Bellingham turning, finding Marcus Rashford again. Ahead of him is Bakayo Saka. Here is Saka now then. Chance to play the ball out wide. Goes towards myself. And we have got Alexander-Arnold here on the right-hand side. That is a brilliant ball to pick out Bellingham. Who gets a second chance now to find another pass. Bellingham to Watkins before he could shoot. 
Ukraine got the tackle in as Rashford's trying to win it back, unable to do so. Shaparenko to take Ukraine forwards. And what's interesting is, in the three friendlies we have now featured in for England, Harry Kane has not played in any of them. The England captain is not starting any of the friendlies we've played in. I don't know if it is because they are friendlies or what's happening. We did, of course, see him play for Bayern in the Champions League. He scored in that game as that shot goes through and Nick Pope will make the save. First chance the way of the away side. 26 minutes gone. Corner for England to defend. Let's see if Ukraine can open up the scoring here. Shaparenko delivers. And there's Sai Gankov, whose header does not hit the target. Trent Alexander-Arnold is down the right-hand side. Here he is. Saka's in the middle. Alexander-Arnold continues down the right. We'll go over to support him. He now finds my feet as we can get into the UK penalty area. This is a brilliant run. Pulling it across for Bellingham. It was a fantastic run. And Jude Bellingham, who has been in the goals for Real Madrid in real life, continues his scoring prowess in an England shirt as the ball finds him. And like any natural goal scorer would, he doesn't even need a touch. First time, fires it home. England won Ukraine nil. That's good by Rice as he wins it back. And now a chance for us to run at Ukraine again. It's how we set up Bellingham's goal. We'll find Watkins. Ollie Watkins, right-hand side. What can he do? Finds me. One more towards Rashford. It's a second for England. And Marcus Rashford, just before half-time, has got himself on the score sheet. As he jumps in front of the England fans celebrating. That is such a cool picture to see. And those England fans are loving what they're seeing. And I mentioned recently I wasn't too happy with the previous friendlies we played. I weren't that impressed with England. But so far here today, very good. Here is Ollie Watkins. Finds Rashford. Quick one, two. Ollie Watkins. Rashford! Delightful! And Lunan pulls off a great stop. Admittedly, the shot was very close to him. But the fact he made a save is brilliant. But Rashford's in anyway! And Marcus Rashford, from the tightest of angles, has got the ball into the back of Ukraine's goal for a third. Lunan did well initially. The interchange between Rashford and Watkins was delightful to watch. And then the shot came through. It was saved. But the ball kept alive by England. And we'll see here in a moment when Bellingham finds Marcus Rashford. Well, actually, a save finds him. There's a deflection there. He just spins, swivels, shoots. And Lunan cannot prevent the ball from going in at his near post. England have a third. Rice, Saka, now Rashford on a hat trick. Saka, Rashford combine. It's Marcus Rashford. Up to Bellingham. Bellingham tried the back heel. Cut out by Ukraine. As we go back to win it though. Immediately on it for England. Bellingham. Now Rashford. Now Abraham. Abraham goes to myself. One more to Chilwell. Chilwell! 4-0 England. Is it a hat-trick of assists for us as well in this game? I'm pretty certain it is. One final piece of action of this game. And that will be that. Ben Chilwell's header away. We send it further forwards. Towards Saka, full-time whistle goes. England 4, Ukraine nil. Hat-trick of assists for us. We enjoyed that one. And we'll finish the episode taking on Ireland in our second and final international friendly for the moment. Alexander-Arnold to Rice, forward to Watkins. Watkins, lovely touch. Now a chance to play out to the left-hand side. Ollie Watkins holds on to it for the moment. Now plays concert. He's very deep here, Ollie Watkins. Rice will play that ball into that little bit of space. As we're away from a challenge and driving all the way through into the area of Ireland. Back here for Saka! England 1, Ireland 0. Our assist run continues. But Kayo Saka scores in a game that in this first half has been very quiet. But it's England who find a breakthrough. And Saka smashes in at the near post. Kayo Saka into the Ireland penalty area. Saka back towards myself. Into the feet of Watkins! 2-0. And a second assist. We're loving it with England in this international break. Watkins gets on the score sheet. Saka. Now Alexander-Arnold. Ball forwards. And Abraham will get there for England. It's Tammy Abraham. Abraham towards Saka. Saka. Cullen, good tackle. And that will be that. England 2, Ireland 0. We enjoyed our international break. We would have enjoyed it even more if we've been able to get our first England goal. But that, I'm sure, will come over time. So many assists for us. We showcased our talent in this one and the previous game against Ukraine. And that, my friends, is where we are going to leave today's episode. It's been a fantastic episode for us. We are eight points clear in the Austrian Bundesliga. We've beaten Bayern in the Champions League 
and match Inter Milan on six points, who we play next time out. Won both of our league games convincingly and shone on the international stage with England. Next time out, we'll pick up with Austria Vienna before we host Inter Milan at our place. And then we'll see where we get as we've got Rapid Vienna and Klagenfurt as well coming up. Until next time, though, a huge thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and the support you show me. If you're new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below and activate the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the future videos. Look after each other, stay safe, and I will catch you all back here for another video very soon. Until then, adios.